Hello everyone, you're watching Can You See Fish? And welcome back to Ursul vs Tykelung. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at and comparing the models of Toby the Tram Engine. Now, some people may be wondering why I'm doing Toby next, since in the previous videos I've done Thomas, Edward, Henry and Gordon, obviously the first four engines. Now, some people may be wondering why I'm not doing James. Simply put it that um, my James mod Ertl model, at least, is probably one of the most damaged models that I own and unfortunately I don't have like a spare James which is in good condition I do hope to get one at some point but uh, in the meantime I'm not and I'm not doing Percy simply because I don't want to I want to do a video where I take a look at the models of Toby so that's what we're doing so this is one of um, four of my uh, Toby models one of them is still sealed and we also have this these two versions this one's in fairly good condition uh, by the fact that his roof's missing and uh, this one which is the worst condition very badly chipped and also his uh, roof is glued on the wrong way obviously his funnel there is at the back but yeah so those are my other two models of Toby this is my good Toby that we're going to be using his only real problem being that his buffers are missing uh, the, the stickers for them are missing and also the front coupling is broken but other than that um, everything's fine so let's start off by looking at the Ertl model so as you can see here I find that this Ertl model actually makes Toby appear a bit too tall I feel um, I feel like the wheels stick out too much and overall it's too tall for me I, I don't know why I've always thought it, but yeah. Details on the top, on the roof are nice. You've obviously got the funnel and Toby's iconic bell, as well as his uh, his like uh, tram tram wire line thing. On the front, you've got a light and his windows, as well as his face, and that's a nice Toby face looking slightly to the right there. Um, I don't know why they made that choice. Obviously, on the older models, they actually. Um, he was looking forward but on this uh, this version they had him looking to the side you've got the seven on the side uh, not too big but yeah that's there as well as some more windows and more wood detailing and you've also got the uh, the side panels um, to stop the animals or people from getting caught in the wheels as well as the, the cow catcher um, I think that the cow catcher is one of the the worst things about both of these models actually it's also true for um, this one uh, it just looks too small I think that it should be bigger they they should have made it go all the way up and just had the um, the buffers and the coupling coming off of the cow catcher I think and you the same on the back same story the same as the front minus the face although I do think that isn't there like one illustration somewhere where Toby has a face on both ends or something like that I don't know um, maybe not he's got a standard six wheel arrangement obviously that is correct and actually let's have a look at when so this is a 1989 version of Toby. So this would have been around the time of Series 2, I believe. Two years after Series 2 came out. But yeah, that is the Ertl model of Toby. Looking at the take -along model now, uh, we've got the face on the front. I actually prefer this face. I'm not sure whether it looks particularly more like Toby. The, um, the features, like the mouth, are definitely... Uh, less clear than on the Ertl model but um, I prefer this Toby face I think it's nicer um, you've also got a yellow light in the light on the on this one as you can see it's just kind of um, almost uh, alluded to being there but they actually do have it on this one the windows here at the front are obviously more squished down to because the face is a lot bigger if I just bring that in you can see how much just huger the face is on this model. As I mentioned, similar problem here with the cow catcher being too small, actually smaller uh, than on the Ertl model. Toby is one of my favourite take along models uh, that they did actually. I don't know why I've always really liked it. A uh, cool thing is that they actually have got detail on the inside. I'm really, you're probably not going to be able to see that very well. But uh, you have got actually got detail inside of a door as well as some wood panelling and that is not featured on the Ertl model that's a really nice feature and that's the same on this too that is extra detailing that really didn't need to be there and it's it's brilliant that it is uh, once again you've got the funnel the bell and the tram line thing on top as well as a much more um, kind of um, colourful and much more vibrant and distinguished number seven than on the Toby uh, the Ertl Toby sorry um, yeah, and once again, 
very similar case on the, the back is the same as the front minus the face. Um, and that is the, oh, and once again, six wheels at the bottom. And he feels more like how Toby should. To me, he looks more like how Toby should. He, he seems to be more close to the ground. He's less tall. Um, only just. In fact, it's it's barely anything really. But it just feels more like this is what Toby should look like to me. You can't really tell. But he's just slightly taller. Obviously, yeah, as I mentioned, six wheels. All the take along models have got the names on the bottom, and this is a 2002 Toby. So, the first year that they made take along, this is an original take along Toby, clearly. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, those are the Toby models from Urkel and take along. And this time, I'm going to say that uh, take along is one. I prefer the take along model of Toby. Don't get me wrong, I really like the uh, the Urkel model, but I prefer. The take along, as I mentioned, the take along Toby is one of my favourite models from uh, that range of toys. So, yeah, he wins out. It might not be the most accurate one, but I think that this one in particular has got a very much a charm to it that some of the other ones don't have. So, yeah, take along wins this one. You've been watching Can You See Fish? Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.